Hello and good afternoon. My name is Jason Vernon. I am a manager of software development focusing on uh, delivery automation. Hi, I'm Radhika Gumadi, software development manager at T-Mobile. Today we are going to talk to you about T-Mobile Sun Carrier Delivery Initiative. I have been with the company for almost 10 years now and over the past few years I have seen drastic transformation in the company. T-Mobile is reinventing the wireless industry by what we call the uncarrier moment and all of this is driven by a common understanding of customers' pain points and complaints. We had several uncarrier moves until now, starting from T-Mobile Simple Choice, where we eliminated annual service contracts to the latest T-Mobile one, where all your data is unlimited. So result of all these uncarrier moves, we had tremendous growth in the company. So how does an innovative company like T-Mobile drive the agility they need to lead the competition? They look up to their IT organization. EIT, as a result, is undergoing drastic digital transformation to deliver fantastic customer experiences. And the focus of this initiative is to do the things faster, better, and cheaper. And main focus areas for us are around operational excellence and digital transformation. Operational excellence is all about improving your performance and availability, whereas digital transformation is about simplifying your architecture, use common processes and tools, and do more automation. Here are some of the tools that are assisting us towards our journey of digital transformation. Most of the applications are already on AWS, which is helping us to auto scale. And we are using Docker for containerization, and Grafana is one of the monitoring tools. Bitbucket is one of our source code repository where we are doing common code sharing as well. Now Jason will go through our uncarrier delivery progress. Thank you. Thank you. you. Um, T-Mobile is on a journey to become a world-class digital organization. The team uh, recently has gone through a dramatic transformation where the entire organization is looking at how they can do work more simple. Um, and the way that we've um, gotten better at um, staying up with the fast-paced change is um, delivering the uncarrier initiative. And that is really to increase speed, quality, and throughput while eliminating risk and enabling the business. Next, the EIT organization has really focused on three or four main areas from uh, lean architecture, um, iterative design, uh, agile processes, as well as looking at the entire delivery pipeline. And from there, we've had a lot of tremendous success over the last few years from our green-blue deployments, our uh, lean configure architecture, our um, cloud stack automation, as well as um, our self-service deployment. And how have we done that? We've done that with over 450 developers across 20 teams, spanning four time zones while maintaining multiple websites and applications um, through various um, platforms and countless devices. And with that, we've done over 900 deployments a week 180 lab deployments, and we're actually moving so fast that in the last few months, we're, we've moved from four deployments per week to daily deployments. So we're really kind of moving fast and keeping up with the pace of the industry. So the three kind of pillars that we're lo looking at are uh, continuous integration, continuous testing, and continuous deployment. And we've had benefits across all three of these. With continuous integration, we've seen um, the ability to integrate Earlier and often, with the implementation of golden environments, we've seen imp uh, quality improve by threefolds, and we've been able to allow um, our developers and testers to initiate their own changes with the self-service tools. With continuous testing, we've been able to test early and often, so people are able to test earlier in the process, identify the issues, and keep on track and schedule. We've also been able to eliminate manual testing by 58% due to automation. And then with deployment, our deployments are four and a half times faster with 30 second rollbacks. Um, we're able to test in production due to those blue green deployments. And we have an initiative of always being on so we don't interrupt our customers. And then we've kind of had a laser beam focus on how we streamline our pipeline to automate everything to allow our teams to initiate those change. And so we've really kind of focused and seen a, a tremendous benefit by simplifying this process as much as possible. The last kind of point is 
um, we've merged our development teams and our operations teams to be true kind of DevOps models. And we've seen a 39% savings on that. We have the mantra of you build it, you own it, and we've been able to reduce technical debt by a huge amount. So in conclusion, with uncarrier delivery, um, we've been able to increase velocity, quality, and throughput while enabling business agility. Thanks. Thank you.